Hello guys, this is Karthik from exilautomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our understanding mock video series. And in this part we are going to talk about matching arguments with mock. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part will have some similarities from that part. Matching arguments. Matching or tracking arguments in mock is one way to see if the expected arguments is passed in the application under test or not. This feature will greatly help us to test the arguments value being passed to any given method if it's correct or not. Since these values plays an important role in flow of our code execution. So using this particular feature of mock we can test that if the argument value passed into the particular method is correct or not so that we can control the flow of our execution and also perform the expected operation in our code. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio and show you a quick demonstration of how it works. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little changes in this code. And as you can see here, I have passed a mock personal details mock object into this particular employee's details class and you can see that we have uh, called the method from it and we performed an operation to see how many times the method is being called but this time we're not going to deal with how many times the method is being called rather we're going to check and see if the parameter we are passing is correct or not but this time i'm not going to use this get higher grade employee option rather i'm going to use another method called get employees valid email address so what this method basically does is it just gets an employee as an argument and checks if the val the address of this particular email is valid or not and even this particular method is just checking to see if the particular method if the email which is being passed has at execute automation or not so you can actually see, uh, go to the implementation and you can see that it's actually checking the uh, contains the executeautomation.com or not. So that is the only checking uh, being done into this particular method. It's pretty dummy, but still it just uh, demonstrates our example very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass into this particular method as employee dot email that is what i'm doing and i want to also make sure that i'm really passing the employee dot email in my argument not something else maybe a string or something like that so that is my testing so i want to test my argument which i'm passing in this particular is valid email method is of type employee dot email rather something else so that is the only thing which I'm going to check in this particular contest. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this get employee valid email is actually accepting me to pass an employee information. And this code actually don't have an employee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly delete this particular list of employees to maybe employee. And I'm going to delete these codes and I'm going to bring this guy here and uh, let me quickly delete this as well all right there we go so this is one employee so I'll just take this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass this particular employee for this get employee valid email address method right and this time i'm going to test the argument so this particular assert is not going to work out so i'm going to delete that and then i'm going to add verify and i'm going to check if x dot dot is valid email and we usually use this is dot it dot is any but rather this time I'm going to use is of type string and I know that this is will 
actually expect me to pass a function so I'm gonna say function of the function dot equals of employee dot the employee ID comma and it's expecting me to pass the string comparison so string comparison dot culture ignore invariant culture ignore case so I'm gonna select that and then I need to close a parenthesis as well all right that's it so if we do this this should be good but one more thing which we need to do is we also need to do a setup operation for this particular is valid email so this always accepts a string type so I also need one more operation to do here so x such that x dot remember we already discussed about this setup method in our previous videos as well so I'm just going to use this method to set it dot is any of string all right and now what we have did is to recollect we have tried to arrange our mock personal details and we have passed that object to the employee details class and we are trying to verify if the is valid email method is actually getting the employee dot email as the parameter or the argument into it rather than something else that's what we're doing and we also need to know that the value which we are passing is of type string and that's why we are doing a setup here and also we're checking it so let me quickly run this all right and you can see that the rest got passed so now in order to test this and see if it fails how to make it fail what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this particular method instead of employee.email as the argument what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass something else maybe kk at execute automation dot com and then if i save it and now if i try to run the same test you can see that this time the method will fail and also it will tell that it's expecting for a string type of employee dot email but rather this time it is passing kk at z.automation.com which is not the actual invocation right so this is how we can also make sure and ensure that the parameter which we are passing into a method is of valid type so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day